Hi folks, and welcome back to American Hunter Sunday Gun Day. Now while a lot of new shotguns have taken center stage over the last few years, there's still a lot of fine shotguns out there that have been and will continue to be great guns for hunters. This week, we're taking a look at a shotgun that's been around for a while, yet has seen some line changes in recent years. I'm talking of course about the Browning Silver. With seven models currently in production, from a durable composite stock silver, the Woodstock Silver Field I have here, a youth-friendly version, a three-and-a-half-inch waterfowl version, and even two rifled slug guns, the Browning Silver line has a shotgun that will fit your needs. The Browning Silver Field is the classic version of this shotgun, the one I desperately wanted to get my hands on for testing, and the focus of this rundown. First, the basics. A 12-gauge semi-auto gas gun built around Browning's self-adjusting active valve gas system, made popular, of course, in the Browning Gold. The Silver Field is just as capable of handling two and three quarter inch loads as it is the hard hitting three inch loads hunters will make use of. Operating via a gas piston as opposed to recoil, the active valve system utilizes only the gas it needs to operate the action, bleeding off any excess through the active valve and out the top of the forearm, away from the receiver. With light loads, more gas is utilized, and with heavy loads, more gas is bled off. This design not only makes the Browning Silver one of the cleanest and therefore most reliable actions, but it's also one of the softest recoiling shotguns too, delivering what Browning says is a near 50% reduction in felt recoil, without the need for thick recoil pads or fancy stock inserts. I can attest that it's a pleasure to shoot and provides the stability for fast follow-up shots on fleeting game. The sleek looking receiver made from a lightweight aluminum alloy is chambered for 12 gauge, three inch loads and sports a semi humpback design, similar to the A5, which provides a definitive sight plane through the shooter. You'll find the operating controls in their usual place, the carrier release just below the ejection port, and the large triangular cross bolt safety at the rear of the Browning Gold trigger. The trigger guard is removable for easy cleaning and has been rounded at the edges to accommodate use with glove fingers. And while the Browning Silver lacks a shell cutoff switch, with a little upward pressure on the carrier, manual shell cutoff can be achieved. Forward the receiver, you'll find the 26 inch matte blued vent ribbed and backboard barrel with a brass bead out front. Now the stock on the Browning Silver Field is a good looking grade one walnut with a satin finish and an inflex recoil pad sits at the rear. Length of pull on the silver is about 14 and a quarter inches with a standard two inch drop at heel. Magazine capacity is a standard four plus one without a plug and two plus one plugged. Now my only complaint regarding the Browning Silver Field, because there has to be one, is that it does not ship with sling swivel studs. Though if you're willing to put a couple holes in the wood stock, it's an issue that can be remedied quickly. All in all, the Browning Silver Field is a great looking, superbly functioning shotgun that was built to hunt. It ships with three Invector Plus choke tubes, modified full and improved cylinder. All the tubes most hunters will ever need and weighs a little more than seven pounds. It's a reliable gun that is light enough for field hunting upland game, stout enough for heavy three inch duck loads, and with a satin silver receiver with a shining buck mark, it's pretty enough to be the envy of your buds at the Clays range. All for an MSRP of around $1,000. For more information on the Browning Silver line of shotguns, visit browning.com. And for more Sunday Gun Day, any day of the week, stay tuned to AmericanHunter.org.